Um, okay. Uh, all right. L- listen up. Um, I'm going to need somebody to explain what is going on and, and what exactly this means. J- just, just to listen to this, um, it was just, um, oh my God, a new bill that w- was just, I guess, signed today. And it is, well, I'm going to let you listen to it. And then we're going to talk about it. So the president almost vetoed that massive spending bill today that would have shut down the government and blown up the budget process. But he did end up signing it and deep inside a provision that could change the gun debate forever. Here's reporter Mike Valerio. You couldn't miss it high in a presidential perch. 2,200 pages that President Trump said, frankly, disgusted him. I will never sign another bill like this again. I'm not going to do it again. But despite taking the budget to the brink, there are a few words in here that could be game changers. Ever since 1996, Congress banned, yes, banned CDC research to advocate or promote gun control. That is clarified tonight. A tiny section of this huge budget that's now law says the CDC can research gun violence. The CDC will be able to do its basic job and research the gun violence that claims tens of thousands of lives every single year. This was a long time coming. We found a CBS News interview in our archives with the congressman who largely put this CDC ban in place. And he said before he died last year that he regrets what happened. If we had just kept the research dollars going and we had said science is important and we need to get to it. Then he goes on to say we would be better off than we are now. And some researchers are holding back on their enthusiasm late tonight because there is still no dedicated funding source for these studies. That's the latest from here. Adam, let's send it back to you. All right, Mike, thank you. Well, the Trump administration's own Health and Human Services Secretary also says that gun research should go forward. He made those recent comments the day after the shooting in Parkland, Florida. More after this. Okay, now... I don't know what that sounded like to everyone else, but to me, correct me if I'm wrong, it sounds like they just signed away $1.3 trillion, it almost sounds fake, um, so that the CDC can study gun violence. Um, what? First of all, the CDC already keeps track of, of deaths. As a matter of fact, I recently did a video. Let's, let's go to that video, okay? Hey, YouTube. We're and talk in about this, this video. A story that was um, just there. Um, Washington, D.C. Volunteers placed 7,000 empty shoes out I mean, that it was 14,000 total shoes because it was 7,000 pairs of shoes just so you have a one um, more it's the crocs like these the little kid shoes said Andrew Nasden who works for the International Activist House on Sunday it okay well I'm just going to just pause myself talking so I'm not talking over myself um, if you go down to the line um, third up from the bottom um it says, according to a 2017 American Academy of Pediatric study that crunches CDC information, nearly 13,000 children die and nearly 6,000 are treated for gunshot wounds each year. So, um, that, that, I mean, that would lead one to believe that the CDC is already... Taking note of how many people, children, whatever, are are dying due to gun violence. So why in the hell would they possibly need? H- how much was it? Um, so the president. Um, all- yes, one point three trillion dollars. What? And I thought that they were the Center for Disease Control. Maybe they need to worry about that. 
Maybe they need to worry about diseases and, and people not dying from their flu shots. Maybe if they focused more energy into what their actual title says that their job entails, they, we may not have so many dead children every year. Now they have $1.3 trillion so that they can worry about gun violence? I'm sorry, I don't usually say this, but I'm going to have to go with Trump on this one and say that it's ridiculous, the word that he used for it. My problem, though, is if it's so damn ridiculous, Trump, why did you sign that? This is just, it's, this is, this is like crazy. This is insane. This makes no logical sense. Am I missing something? Please let me know what you guys think about this.